Hi, I'm Stephen Bromberg, President of Canadian Coin and Currency, and I'm here in our showroom in Richmond Hill, Ontario. I'm with Carol Wong, who is our manager for Royal Canadian Mint Products. This is the time of month that we all look forward to because we get to see the brand new releases from the Royal Canadian Mint. Our FedEx delivery person was here just a short time ago. We've got a box that I know contains a couple of samples of each one of the brand new releases. And what I'm going to do today is we're going to open them, we're going to show them to you the exact same time as we see them for the first time. Okay, let's cut it open and see what we got. bunch of bubble wrap but here are the coins inside and let's start taking a look and see what we got up the top I see a couple of black lights uh, let's see where we're gonna go first let's go right here to one of the easiest buys that uh, I've been looking forward to seeing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pass one of these off to Carol and I'm going to let her take things out of wrappers so that we can show you some close-ups of everything. I think this one I'm just going to do myself right here. There should be two of everything in this box if they've done it the way they're supposed to. This is the brand new silver caribou coin. This one is only $20 which is going to be that easy easy buy. But let me just take a look at it at the same time as you do. Nice clean lines for it. It's pure silver. It's a, uh, this one is a $5 denomination, $3 denomination. It's only $19.95. It's still tax exempt. This is a $3 denomination, quarter ounce of pure silver. This is the classic caribou. This one is going to be just a really easy buy. Let's keep going. I'm going to pass that off to Carol. Oh, one more thing first. On the back of this, if you want to set it up on display, this is the way these are going to get displayed. So I'll just pass that one off and let's see what else is in the box. Okay, got to take one of these ones with the black lights. Again, I'm going to pass one of these off to Carol uh, so that she can take one out and we can do some close-ups of the points. Let's see what we've got in here. It is our snowy owl. Let me turn them around the right way. And here is the snowy owl coin. This one is a glow in the dark. In a minute, we're going to see if we can do our glow effect and see exactly what this looks like. What you've got is an image of an owl. It's a snowy, um, it's kind of a snowy northern background for it. But when we use a black light on this, it's supposed to light up and be brilliant colors for the northern lights. Let's take a look and see how it actually works. Let's bring our lights down. Wow, take a look at how vibrantly the northern lights are glowing in this. That's something that the Royal Canadian Mint has really pioneered and developed, being able to do the glow-in-the-dark effects that just jump out and bring this coin to life. This is the second coin in the um, Arctic Animals and Northern Light series. You'll remember the wolf before. Popular coin, low mintage of only 4,000 on this coin. It's also a large coin, 50 millimeters. This is one of my big picks of, the, um, of this launch. This is one that has really a lot going on for it as far as art. It's got a lot going on for it for the technology and it's a super low mintage. Absolutely one of my top picks for this, uh, for this launch from the Royal Canadian Mint. Okay, let's dig into the box and see what we got next. This one is one of the kind of regular size coins. This looks like it's either going to be a one ounce or smaller. And that is our bald eagles. Uh, I think they call it a convocation of bald eagles. Just a classic proof coin, a nice quality coin. Let's take a look at it close up and see the detail. So three bald eagles on this coin, low mintage, only 5,500. Look at the detail on it. Really something that the Royal Canadian Mint is exceptionally well known for. The eagle symbol of power and wisdom in the wild. A convocation of bald eagles is I think what they call them. Um, with a fairly low mintage and nice classic coin, this one is going to be a good addition for all of those collectors who um, are collecting classic Canadian wildlife. There's one really strange thing with this, and that is that it's a one full ounce pure silver coin, but they've done a $15 denomination on it. Usually it's a $20 coin, and I'm not sure what the reason is for it, but that's what they've done with this one. Let's move on. Okay, let's see what we've got next. 
and another one of the small packages. Pass one off so we can get some close-ups. And this one is our spiritual coin. This one is our Thunderbird, a little bit of native Canadian, native Canadiana on it. But this one is supposed to be ultra high relief. I can see already that the coloring on this is unusual, that it's metallic coloring. And that metallic coloring is something that never used to be possible. In fact, none of the color used to be possible to be able to do on ultra high relief. Let's take a look at this as I turn the coin and just see how high the relief is. That is really um, amazing to be able to do that. There's a few mints in the world that can strike coins that come up to that level in a proof quality. Doing it with color on top of it is really cool. This gives you a little bit of an opportunity to capture some of the designs of Canadian native peoples. And this one as well is an exceptionally low mintage at only 5,000. It really looks somewhat like the sculptures that it's meant to emulate. Okay, I know that the one next is coming in a great big box, and this is one of the ones that I've been really looking forward to. Carol, if you can get that one out of the capsule for me, I wanna show it close up, because this one, if the design is well executed, this is gonna be a long-term classic, I think, of Canadian coins. Okay, this big, this is substantial. This is a 10 ounce pure silver coin. I'll show it out of the, out of the um, capsule in a minute or two. But this one is an important event in Canadian history. We're actually marking now the 100th anniversary of the end of the First World War. Let's take a look at the design close up. The coin is called the Angel of Victory. It is a mintage of only 750 coins. Of course, what you're seeing in the design is in fact an angel, but it's based on a view of a statue that was done marking the end of the First World War, and it's called the Angel of Victory, the same as the coin. Now, there's something neat that they've done here, which is the outside of this is in the same design as the one cent coins that were in circulation back in 1918. And as I turn this around, you're gonna see that it has the image of King George V on it, who was the king at the time of the armistice from the First World War. Now here's the reason why I think that this one is going to be a really, really great coin to add to your collection. This has a mintage of only 750 pieces. 750 pieces for all of Canada is a really exceptionally low mintage. It's priced at $995. You're gonna to wanna to read more about this, read the story about it. Go ahead and do that, but don't wait long for this one because I predict that this one will be completely sold out. Uh, this is one of my big picks for this launch as well. Okay, let's go to the next one. And it's actually two, I'll pass one of these off. This is something that I really appreciate that the Royal Canadian Mint has done for us. They're now sending us an advanced sample of two of every of the new launches well before the launch date so that we can showcase them. Put this bit video together for you so you've got that just as the coins are launched and you can see what this is all about. Okay, this is the yin and yang coin. There was a little bit earlier advertising date for this, but this is the first time that we actually have them in hand. Now it looks like you're getting one coin, but you're not getting one coin. It's actually two coins together in this capsule. And if Carol's able to open the capsule, we're actually gonna take this out and we're gonna see what the two coins together are gonna to look like and we'll take a look at them close up. This is tricky to do, but I think that I can do it without getting my fingers on it. And let's try this, okay. So Chinese culture in Canada has really become part of Canada's mainstream culture. Yin and yang is something that just about everybody is familiar with. It's the theme of balance and it's the two parts coming together to make the whole. On this design, we've got black and white and we have the dragon and we have the tiger. Let's take a look at the close-ups of the individual coins as well because they come apart and they do make two really cool shaped coins that as you put them together, they make a complete circle. Mintage limited to just six 
thousand. You've got the color, which is on top of engraving, so it's not completely flat. You've got um, just a neat coin to be able to have something unusual that's different. It's also one of those great giftables. I think everybody wants to find balance in their life. Maybe it's even going to be a wedding gift where the yin and the yang come together to make that whole. Uh, this one is unusual, interesting, new from the Royal Canadian Mint, and I think worthy of adding to a collection. Okay, let's see what we got. Pass one of these off again, and they're starting to get set up in front of me here so that we can at the end see everything that we've got. This one is larger than our normal, and this one, oh, that's because it has extra depth to it. This is our frozen woolly mammoth. Okay, let's see how they've done this. I've got to take a look at it directly myself too. This is an unusual one and it's interesting and it's pretty well executed. You know, we hear stories of the frozen, of the mammoths, the woolly mammoth of 10,000 years ago that went extinct in the last ice age. But every once in a while we hear a story of one of the mammoths being found, the whole mammoth frozen in the ice. Well, this captures the mammoth frozen in the ice. Let's take a look and uh, see what it looks like close up. And you can decide for yourself how well it's been executed. So the mintage on this coin is just 5,000. It's something that, in, that includes that three-dimensional effect as you take a look at the ice cube, but it's not just kind of a blob of, of glass or an element added on that has no detail. It actually has intricate detail that makes it look like an ice cube over top of part of the mammoth. Kind of cool. This is our frozen woolly mammoth just released from the Royal Canadian Mint and pure silver, of course, all of the items that were that we've showcased so far. In fact, I think every single item in this launch is gonna be pure silver or there's um, one gold item that's not pure that will be taxable. The rest of them are all gonna be tax exempt. But this one kind of adds um, nicely to a selection of different prehistoric animals of Canada that have been showcased over the past years by the Royal Canadian Mint. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, this one looks like it's packaged if I've got the right ones together with another one of the black lights. I'm gonna put that aside for a moment. We'll get one of these opened up. And I think I know what this one is going to be. There's a new coin that is all about UFOs. It goes back to 1967. Let's make sure first that I've got the right one. And it is. If you, by the way, if you missed out on the Pisanka egg, you can just say that you got the UFO, UFO Pisanka egg and you got a chance to get it right now. Okay. Now, this one is kind of an interesting story, whether you believe in science fiction or whether you think it was real, it's really up to you. But there was an incident back in 1967 where there was a guy named Stefan Michalak who claimed to have seen a big flying saucer. And there, was a, there were reports at the time, all kinds of information about it. This is supposed to be a recreation of his viewing of that flying saucer. Now it's supposed to be a glow in the dark. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be radioactive, although they claimed at the time that there was radioactivity from it. Let's see what this looks like when we take out the black light that comes along with this. Okay, the coolest thing about this is that the light beams coming down from this spaceship are really brilliant. And this is a fun piece. Whether you believe in UFOs or you just want something that's kind of way out there, it's, this is an oval-shaped coin or an egg-shaped coin. The mintage is only 4,000 on it. It glows in the dark. It's an ounce of pure silver. And it recreates in the background those colors of the place where this guy, Stefan Michalak, claimed back in 1967 to have Canada's most well-known UFO encounter. They call it the Falcon Lake Incident. There was all kinds of investigation of the incident back at the time. They found there to be radioactivity. He came into the hospital with all these burns. Uh, maybe it was real. Anyway, you can own the coin that commemorates it. And from my perspective, it's just a bit of fun, but it's a cool looking coin. Okay, let's do it again. And one more of these passed off to Carol and one for me to open up here. And it is more Canadian wildlife. Uh, you know what, there's a lot of Canadian wildlife coins, 
whether you're tired of it or you're loving it, you can actually build an amazing collection of these coins. What I like about this especially is that they brought the mintage down. They used to do these at mintages of seven or 8,000, and this one has a mintage of 6,000. This one is called the Meddlesome Mountain Goat. And let's take a look at it close up and see what this is gonna look like. Again, they've used selective color for this coin. The Royal Canadian Mint is really leading in the world for being able to do selective color. The design is intricate, there's fine detail, the lines of the color are really well done. This is going to give you an idea of why the Royal Canadian Mint at least calls this the meddlesome mountain goat. It's supposed to be an animal that uses its spirit and courage in a way that makes it um, that makes it difficult for its predators to get to, such as bears, wolves, and cougars. What it does is it spends most of its time on steep rocky ledges where its predators aren't gonna be able to get to it. Cool coin, uh, nice quality execution for it, and very much collectible. Okay, let's do another. And pass one off, and we'll see what we got. I particularly like them when they've got them in the uh, colored beauty box on the outside. Then I don't need to guess what's going to be inside, but these ones we'll just guess on until we get there. Oh, it's the birthstones. Okay, so this is one where, uh, as many collectors know, and certainly if you're looking for a gift, this is going to be interesting um, because there's one different birthstone for each month. This one is for May. This is the emerald. It has the Swarovski crystal on it. Let's take a look at it close up. So the design on this one is meant to be a mandala. It presents an image of symmetry, harmony, and unity. It combines art, astronomy, and geometry. The thing I really like about this is if you're giving this as a gift, it means that you thought about somebody that you knew when their birthday was, and that it's something especially for them. I know there's a lot of collectors as well who are putting together the entire collection of all 12. The mintage is only 4,000 on this. It's pure silver, it's affordable, it's only 54.95 for it. Brand new from the Royal Canadian Mint. This one is the Birthstone series, the May Emerald. Okay, let's see what else we got. Pass one off. Ah, this is our 13 different moons. This one is the sucker moon. I don't know, get the sucker moon. But they're actually interesting because you've got these images that are over top of the moon. These are low mintage at only 4,000 each. You could actually collect all, um, all 13 of them in the series if you wanted to, and it builds an interesting collection. And let's see what we got. Ah, and our first gold coin of this launch. This one is the frog. There's a neat story behind this one. And I'll see if I can go through a little bit of the story as I show this close up. So this is the brand new 2018 $100 gold coin. It is 14 karat gold. It's not pure gold, but this is, um, it's got a weight of about a quarter of an ounce. And here's the story behind it. It's about a legend of a man who ventured into the forest where he came across a magical frog as large as a man. I love it when there's these kind of stories behind the coins and you can read about them. The information is available for you to learn about the story. Apparently the copper shone from its mouth and despite its ability to suddenly disappear, um, the frog allowed a man to vanquish it. And with great effort, the man rolled the frog over and found beneath him a stack of copper shields, which was considered to be a luxury reserve for the highest ranking chiefs. So what you're gonna see in this image is the frog with his tongue stuck out, but his tongue is actually in the shape of this copper shield. And this is meant to be a gift of wealth. A little bit of native Canadian theme and native Canadian design on it. This is the frog revealing a gift. Um, the mintage on this is extremely low at only 1500 It's $709.95. If you're collecting the $100 gold coins from the Royal Canadian Mint, I think this is one of the nicer ones. Okay, this doesn't look like regular Royal Canadian Mint packaging. I was told that the new CNIB coin is not available for delivery and I asked and begged, could they please send us one of the early samples of it even without packaging? 
and it seems that that's what we've got. So this is absolutely going to be the first place that you're going to see these. These are not anywhere else. It's actually going to be a two-part set with a coin and a metal. And we'll open these things up from the Royal Canadian Mints hidden place somewhere where they've got all of their early samples and it was nice of them to be able to send this out to us. Okay, I'll pass these two off for the moment. We'll see if Carol can open the second one up for me while I take one of these out. Okay, this is a big 50 millimeter, $30 two ounce fine silver coin. The theme is the uh, anniversary of the Canadian National Institute for the Blind. It's the 100th anniversary and I think this is something that is really important to have uh, a little bit of recognition and respect for. Maybe it's going to be an opportunity for you to think about, um, maybe it's something that you want to make a donation to, maybe it's something that you just want to pay tribute and have some awareness to. That awareness is going to come from these coins. It's actually a coin and a metal. It's going to be a two-part set that come in one case together. But I want to show you close up the design on this because it's really cool once you know what it is. So the design features an abstract eye superimposed over a mountain scene, and it's meant to represent the institution that the CNIB has built during its first century. You're going to see the 100, or maybe you won't see it, but the 100 is going to be in Braille. I don't actually suggest that you stick your fingers on the coin. You can stick your fingers onto the metal that goes with it, and then you um, aren't going to be damaging your pure silver coin. The passage of time in this design is going to be conveyed by the sun and the moon at the center, where selective green color transforms the sun into an iris, with the moon as its pupil. There's variations in color, detail, and texture, which are going to symbolize the range of conditions and abilities experienced with sight loss. And then the curved horizon also doubles as an eyelid, with its lashes standing as trees in honor of the seven founders of the CNIB and the jack pine embodying the strength and resilience of people living with sight loss. You know what, when they first told me that there was going to be a CNIB coin, and they even said that this was going to be a coin that was going to be designed by a visually impaired person, I was skeptical about it. But when I take a look at the design on this, it's, it actually really is touching, it's beautifully done, and I think it's an important coin that uh, is a great tribute and a great recognition. Okay, this is getting to be a pretty neat pile of stuff here. You could build a whole collection, but let's see what else we got. This one, I don't need to guess what we've got because it's got the colored beauty box on the outside, but I will still get Carol to open one so we can show it close up. And this is supposed to be a glow in the dark coin as well. This is the third one in the uh, Star Trek series. I believe it's the last one in this series as well. These are half ounce fine silver coins. And this should be cool when it lights up in the dark. We're going to leave it under a light here for a second. And then we are going to uh, shut out the lights here and see what happens with it and see what it looks like. Okay, let's bring down our lights and take a look. This definitely looks like sci-fi. Maybe not quite as sci-fi as the um, UFO coin that we showed a little bit earlier. But this is the Star Trek Enterprise. What you're going to see is... Uh, the Enterprise set against a glow-in-the-dark nebula that is really meant to infuse the scene with energy and motion. Cool coin, if you are a Trekkie, one more to add to your collection. Okay, the box is getting close to empty, but not quite. We've got a few things left in here. Pass one more of these off, and we'll see what's left. Ah, uh, continuation of the... Low poly art, I think, is what they call it. But the Royal Canadian Mint actually mixes realism and selective color with the poly art. And the thing that's cool about the poly art that gives it those kind of little triangles is that they ref reflect or refract light, kind of like a diamond does. And on the pure silver background of a coin, the effect is really cool and dynamic. Let me show it close up, and we'll see how this reflects the light.
So this is a one ounce pure silver coin. It's part of the Geometric Fauna series. It's, I believe, the second one in this series. It's a large format, 40 millimeter diameter. And um, take a look at the way the two snowy owls appear here. The one in the background sitting on the fence post, and then the one that is in the foreground. He actually looks like he's breaking right out of the coin. It's kind of a cool effect with the colors in the background, and then the light reflecting off those polygons and then it transfers into the color on the owl in the foreground's head. Neat coin, low mintage at 6,000. This is one that I think a lot of people are going to be enjoying. Okay, almost the end of the box. There's one more thing in there, but this one is seriously heavy, and I'm going to pass that off. I don't need to guess what's in this one. This is going to have some brand new coin rolls, maybe the very first complete set of coin rolls for 2018. So last year, the Royal Canadian Mint did two different series, one with classic designs and one with the My Canada My Inspiration coins, and each of those had a mintage of 10,000. Now for 2018, the special wrap roll set has a mintage of only 5,000. So you've got complete original numismatic uncirculated rolls of each of the denominations. They are complete. You've got all the denominations that actually exist in circulation. You've got some of the best quality examples that exist for each of them. Uh, the only one that you don't have that does exist is the 50 cent coin. And it's the last thing left over in the box that we're going to showcase in a minute. And that'll complete your collection. But this is the way it comes to you. Nicely presented. I like that the Royal Canadian Mint has done this in a nice case that fits everything. I'd love it if they did a case, actually, that included the 50 cent roll as well. You know what? I'm going to grab that right now at the next, uh, which is our last one in the box. But I got a few more things still to show you that I know are coming. So this is, let me just pass this off because I don't really need to show any more than that. And let's take a look at our half dollars. So half dollars, once upon a time, used to circulate widely in Canada. They go back to the 1870s, and they really circulated in Canada through till around 1970. And then after that, the mintages dropped till they stopped being produced and, uh, and really put out into circulation at all since the early 1990s. Today, this is the only way to get the half dollars, only in a Royal Canadian Mint coin set or in the special wrap roll. These are only $24.95, and what you're going to get is 25 coins in the roll. They're great for giftables, they're great collectibles, and they're low mintage. Uh, this one is really an easy buy. They're great little gifts if you're traveling. So brand new, just released the new 2018 half dollars. Okay, I'm going to pass those off. So there's a few items left that we have not received. The box is empty now, but I know that there's a few more things still to be delivered to us. And this, by the way, is pretty typical. The Royal Canadian Mint's got a 90 to 95% delivery before the launch date, and we're still ahead of the launch date right now as we're unboxing this. So not too bad. You know, the problems that they had a few years ago with really late deliveries, they've done a pretty good job solving that, and it's a lot better. But there's a few little things left. We've got the Queen's Maple Leaf brooch. This one is my information sheet. Here is the actual image of the coin that we're expecting to get. This is going to be a $20 fine silver coin. The cool thing about this is the pearl that's actually embedded in the bottom of this. And it's a replica of the enamel brooch that Queen Elizabeth has that is her maple leaf brooch. And it's a gift that was originally given to her um, great-grandmother, no, grandmother, Queen Mary, then Duchess, back in a royal tour in 1901. So this one is coming out. It's going to be available to buy along with all of the other items, but it might be a little bit longer till it's delivered. Let's see what else we've got. We've got a set of two one ounce pure gold coins that are coming. They are maple leaf coins. There's something really neat done with this because the pure gold is done with a platinum plating overlay on it. So cool stuff as well is coming in this larger set. And the mintage on this one, let me get the mintage on this one because I know it's a really low mintage, 175, that's all. And then we get into even lower mintages. This one is going to be, let me bring the picture up for this. 
Um, we've got a five ounce pure gold coin, which we're expecting to receive shortly. This one has a mintage of only 99 pieces. And the very, very last one that we're expecting is a one ounce platinum with a mintage of only 250. And this one is interesting the way it's been done. So the coin is actually platinum and then they've gold plated on the platinum. And that's it for the whole launch. Really appreciate you uh, joining us for our unboxing. It's been fun for me. I think it's a really cool launch. There's some neat stuff here. I still collect. I've been collecting for a long time, and I know there's some things I'm adding to my collection. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks.